the doll in this video is a fragile and expensive art piece intended for adult crafters and collectors. It is not a toy and not made for children. Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Calanthiel Tan and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at an Eiffel House Pixie. I did have to cut open the top of the box because there were dresses on it, but I haven't looked any further than this. This is such a pretty box. This is my very first Eiffel House doll ever. Apparently there's a manual. These are general instructions for how to take care of a ball joint doll. And this is instructions for how to adjust tension strings, which I'm not sure if there's a special string that other companies don't have or if they just mean the elastic. It's always fun when a doll comes with paperwork. I want to make sure you guys get to see the whole outside of the box. It's a little much, but it is really pretty. There's a lot going on. It's very colorful. She is much tinier than I expected. I was expecting kind of more like typical Yoas D size, but the body's kind of 1 12th scale. There's her little plate on the back. I'm pretty sure this is an outfit that the previous owner put together for her. There's a little tag in here and it says Sad Sally is the trademark of Wild Imagination Inc. So I was right, this is not an original dress from Eiffel House. I'm not sure if Eiffel House offers any full sets actually, I'll have to look into that. This is a, dr the dress at least, is one that came with a Sad Sally doll from Tonner. These shoes are so cute. Her feet are very tiny. I want to try the wig on and then we'll move on to looking at her posing and stuff like that. She's so much more delicate than I was expecting. I had never heard of Eiffel House Pixies until the listings showed up on eBay. There are some additional precautions you need to take on eBay because there are a lot of recasts there. Let me know if you want to a tutorial for how to make sure you don't buy a recast on eBay but this doll I did purchase on eBay she is legit The little hands are an absolute delight. The sculpting is so cute. Her head is very heavy because it's so big and so it keeps wanting to go back and forward. She is balancing. You can see no, both of my hands are over here. I'm not helping her. She is standing on her own.
She has a really cute side profile and the movement looking up is really good. I, you don't see that very often. I'm not sure if I will keep permanently or if I will resell. It just depends on how well I click with her. If you're not familiar with my videos, I typically make videos about ball jointed dolls, art dolls, and miniatures. I occasionally make videos about fashion dolls and vintage dolls. If you're interested in any of those things, be sure to check out some of my other videos and subscribe. If you're already familiar with my content, don't forget about the Facebook group. Anyone 13 years of age or older is welcome to join. I just post there whenever I put a video up on YouTube and it allows you guys to be notified and comment on videos I have to mark for legal reasons as being made for kids. I also have a Patreon where you can support my channel for as little as $2 a month in exchange for seeing all of my content one to two weeks early and as soon as I reach my first support goal, which we're over two thirds of the way there, I'll begin giving away one doll every single month to a patron and only patrons will have access to that. So if that sounds cool to you, be sure to check it out and see if it's something you wanna be a part of. Those who support me on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon, in addition to what I already mentioned, also get a sticker sent to them every single month of one of my dolls and a shout out in every single YouTube video I make. So shout out to Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.